I'm like praying everything is gonna stay put. <laughs> You're like balancing on a lot of things right now. Hey guys, what's up? Today I'm going to do my makeup routine for my pink hair. <laughs> so it's a little different with each color hair, but I'm gonna show you this one. <laughs> my acne is super bad right now. Not sure why. I don't think I'm eating anything different, but... Oh, I am supposed to start pretty soon. Mother Nature is paying me a visit. So that could have something to do with it, but... All natural. I'm gonna start by putting my hair back a little bit. It's like my face. I've never done this type of thing before, so it's kind of weird. <laughs> also, let me just start by saying I have no idea what I'm doing at all. Like, I just do what my mom taught me when I was like 10. As far as makeup and just kind of what works for me and what I like for my face and whatever. So, I'm just gonna show you what I use and what I do. It's not, like, I don't know what I'm doing. Like, let me just say that. So, correct me wherever I need correcting about products. So, I already did my, what's it called? My moisturizer. I do this under eye thing too. It's like Burt's Bees. It's like a eye cream. I'm already really good at this. Oh my god. Okay, I start with my MAC foundation. This is the one thing that I actually spent money on because this is something I care about. I kind of use it every day, actually. I know it's like supposed to be for special occasions or whatever, but I a lot of times do because I feel like if you buy something nice, you should be able to use it all the time. You know what I mean? Like, what if I die tomorrow? I'm gonna wanna use my best stuff. I think I deserve it. So, so I either use this, it's the Studio Fix Fluid SPF 15 NC 17. Oh, okay, well you might not be able to see it, but whatever. So I just kinda dab it everywhere. I'm not sure if I'm supposed to look into the camera or the mirror, so I'm just gonna <laughs> do a little bit of both. I got one of these suckers. I have been using my fingers forever because I just, haven't wanted to break down and buy one, but I finally broke down and buy one, <laughs> bought one. And let me tell you, it's a game changer. They're pretty fun to use too. They do take a lot longer than, than just using my fingers, but it's worth it because I feel like it's all even and it's not as oily with my finger oils and skin and stuff. God, I'm so good at this. I'm sorry. Nose is running. Is everyone else getting allergies this time of year? Cause I am. Friendship. <sighs> yeah, I probably put way too much of this on. Maybe people don't put this much on. Or maybe you do, I don't know. I like it. My freckles are already starting to come in. They come in when the sun starts coming out. A lot of times in the summer, if I feel like it dries it all out, the sun. Then I stop using as much foundation because I'm like, you know what? Just let them shine through, just be yourself. But we're not at that point yet. <laughs> I think we'll get there. Hmm. That's a nice guy over there. You attending the party as well, buddy? God, this little guy is like relentless. He's not wanting to go away. It's like, it's my time to shine. I see you, buddy. All right, good enough, because this is my everyday look, so I don't really care that much. Oh, I will show you the other two products I use. In the summertime, I use the Milk Foundation, the Blur Liquid, I don't know if that makes any sense. Yeah, I really like this one. The only thing is I have super oily skin, so I feel like it just makes me very glowy, and I'm not really a fan. I have to put a lot of powder on, but I do like it because it feels lighter. It's not like MAC, and then I use this BB cream. Uh, Maybelline, I just, it's like a drugstore brand. I'll use that whenever I'm not using this. So I switch off just because. I recently just switched to this concealer, e.l.f. And it has changed my life. I've been using, I don't even know. Oh, I've been using this one. I try to do half drugstore and half regular makeup just because it's a lot of money that you can spend on this crap. I've been using this one, but I switched to this one. 
and this is definitely the way to go. I use Fair Warm. Hello? Now you gotta find me. The only thing with this is it dries out super fast. So I end up doing like a tiny bit at a time. like super big on contouring <laughs> I contour every day I know that might be ridiculous for an everyday look but that's what I do once you start man you can't stop you just can't stop it's addicting but I like doing my makeup it kind of relaxes me I mostly do my makeup on the floor but I didn't know how to film that like with the angles and stuff so this is the first time I'm doing it in a bathroom in a while I don't know it just hits different when it's on the floor, when you're doing your makeup, let me know if that's different for you, but that's how I like to go about things. And then I just put it on all my blemishes. thing I use it's another drugstore brand it's this bronzer that I use for contouring I don't know I feel like you know it when you see it. it's physicians formula the brand oh, I'm so bad at this. this one <laughs> if you go into Walgreens or Rite Aid or whatever you'll find this probably I used to use the one with the Sun on it too there's like one with the Sun on it my friend Rachel actually told me to do this video, so I blame her if I suck, which I gotta do. Sorry, Rach. <laughs> also, Rhiannon, this is for you too. So I basically just kind of go, if you make that face and you just kind of go under the cheekbone, that's a good spot. It's just the spot I do. Right, we're getting there. Then I go in the top and I do up here, just kind of around your head. My friend Jackie taught me one time, this was like, I think we were in high school. I think I was in like 10th grade or something. No, it was after I graduated. But anyway, beside the point, she taught me that you can do like a three like make a three and that's kind of like the shape of the contour that you want to do one of those things that like you never forget <laughs> so thanks Jackie for that one I've been using that ever since I still don't know if it's like what you're supposed to do but that's what I do so all right and then I do a tiny bit on my finger and I just do kind of the bottom of my nose and a little bit on the sides arch of a nose oh yeah things are getting heated in here voila contour 101 all right now for the powder i use the maybelline maybelline fit me and i use the color porcelain 110 I don't know what that means to you. But that's what I use. Cause I'm a little pale. I always end up like getting those lines under my eyes. You know what I'm talking about. So usually this powder helps. That's what I've been doing lately. <laughs> must be so weird watching someone do their makeup. I always enjoy watching these though. <laughs> I just like zone out. The margarita. That sounds good. Is it too early for a margarita? It's 3.30. It's 
five o'clock somewhere. <laughs> I feel like that's a dad joke. Okay, so that's that. What's next? Blush. So I bought this like six years ago. It's L'Oreal. I think it's another drugstore. Soft Sun. Soft Sun? Is that what it's called? Maybe? W7-8. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm doing my best. Just use one of these. I came in that little kit thing, if you know what I'm talking about. And I just kind of... I've been going heavy on the blush lately. I think it's like a thing. People have been doing a lot of blush. So I've been following along. Also with the pink hair, I think it kind of... It works, you know what I mean? Oh god. Then I put a little bit on my nose. Because I think that's a thing now too. I saw someone do it on TikTok, which I'm trying to get into. But it's hard. I just think everyone's so creative with TikTok and I never know what to do. What do you do? Like with videos. I'm so bad at that. Okay, and then on my daily makeup routine with the pink hair, I've been taking a little bit of this on my middle finger and putting it on my lids too because I think it kind of brings it all together. And it's just quicker than, than eyeshadow. Cool. Oh, highlighter. I... Yeah, that's right, it's broken. Okay, I've had this for a while, so that's why it's broken. It's not like chintzy. I have been using this for a very long time. My friend Gigi turned me on to it. I think this is another drugstore one too. The L'Oreal Paris True Match. It's the rose one, I do remember that. So, oh my gosh, it's like 15 bucks, I think. It's just like a little on the pricey side for me, but it works so well. Like I've never had a highlighter that I liked more than this. And it lasts a long time too which is also amazing. So I usually just rub it up my nose and try not to sneeze and then do it on my cheekbones. It kind of tames the blush a little bit too, so that's why I like doing this after. The blush gets super crazy. I always go crazy with this stuff. I don't know why. I feel like you can never have too much highlighter. Is that a thing? That's what I feel. I also put a tiny bit above my lip, right here, my top lip, and then a little bit on the bottom. And I take it and do like a big and do under my eyebrows. And lately on my daily makeup routine, I've been taking this bottom color right here and putting it on my lids as well just because it's pretty quick and I think it looks good ties it all together again lightens it cool 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 uh, I guess I'll do lips next started using this it came in like this little package thing of things to try my friend Bruna gets like all these like brands giving her things and she gave me this and it is the best thing that I've ever used for my lips because you know how the winter time gets and you get super chapped well this saves your life seriously this works amazing peptide lip therapy PCA skin and I have this Burt's Bees lip pencil sorry lip crayon and I just go over the top a little bit. Yeah, it's pretty subtle, but sort of enough to make it pop a little bit. I go on to my mascara. I love this brand, Roller Lash um, by Benefit and this is one of the things I splurge on. It's a little pricey, but oh my gosh, it works perfect. It makes them super soft and long. Q 
cute with a weird lip face. Okay, just don't look at me. <laughs> oh god. <laughs> I'm totally cheating. I'm looking in the mirror. This is kind of hard to do in the camera. Lascara. Now for the brows. This is going to be really weird to you. I use Urban Decay's black eyeshadow and use this little brush and I just put a tiny bit in the bridge there come down a tiny bit just to like fill them out a little bit and then <laughs> okay this is gonna be funny too so I used to get my lashes done a lot of times in the summertime and they always give you this little brush and I've been using it on my brows because <laughs> I don't know it just I tried it one day and it seemed to work and then I recently one of my recent purchases I got this this brow glue also from Walgreens by NYX and I've been trying, I've been trying to do the eyebrow up type deal. I'm still not sold on it because it's kind of weird. But I'm really trying to fit with like these Gen Z people because they are like so cool. And I was never cool at that age. And I think that's what they do, or at least it looks like kind of similar. Is it gonna judge me so hard for this video? I'm sorry. Yeah. I think that's it. I'm gonna let down the mane. I blow dried it again for like the second time in my life, just for you guys. And yeah, that is my everyday makeup routine. makeup in front of anyone so this is kind of cute for me hope you enjoyed it got something out of it maybe just laughed about it the whole time which is fine too give me a thumbs up if you liked this video and if you want to see more subscribe to my channel let me know if you want to see other looks i can do other stuff kind of but yeah thanks guys